Yeah, first off, that seven year old Keenan is in stable condition, so that's good news this morning. The scene did just wrap up, but we are now seeing Detroit police out with their flashlights, continuing to collect evidence here right in front of this home on Appaline. We're just off West Chicago here. Now, this man reportedly surrendered around 3 30 this morning. This neighborhood, though, was told to shelter in place as this all unfolded. The 50 year old suspect and the father to that seven year old was barricaded inside one of these homes here on Appaline for several hours, according to police. Now, earlier this this morning, officers had to block this area off, trying to get this man to come out of his home. As you mentioned, Keenan, police say this man shot his seven year old daughter before reportedly barricading himself inside. Officers first went to Sinai Grace Hospital just before midnight after a report of a child shot. But then after speaking with the mother, that's when they came here to this home on Appaline. Investigators say it started as a domestic dispute between the suspect and the child's mother, who then tried to leave the home. While the woman and the seven year old were trying to flee, the 50 year old father exited the house with a rifle and fired multiple shots into the vehicle. One of those shots struck the seven year old, which is his daughter, in their left shoulder. Again, we are still seeing investigators on scene here taking photos and collecting evidence that child is in stable condition. But we are learning that during the course of this barricaded gunman situation, Detroit police tell us the suspect also had inside the home his 80 year old father and another elderly woman inside the home. No additional reports of injuries, though, still ahead coming up at 530. How investigators were able to communicate with this man prior to his surrender. And of course, we'll be following up with Detroit police as to any possible charges. But again, the good news that seven year old little girl, she's in stable condition this morning. We're live on the city's northwest side. Keenan, Alicia. Oh, so glad to hear that she's in stable condition. Thank you, Jen.